What's up guys, today we're doing a question currently being asked by Microsoft and the question is maximum depth of a binary tree. Let's get to it. What's up guys, today we're doing maximum depth of a binary tree and the problem description is given a binary tree, find its maximum depth. The maximum depth is the number of nodes along the longest path from the root node down to the farthest leaf node. Note, a leaf node is a node with no children. So in the last video, we did minimum depth of a binary tree, and I said we should use a breadth first search because then the first time we get to a node with no children, we can just return that. So that would improve our uh, average case time complexity. But in this case, because we're going to have to look at all paths or branches along the tree to see which one has, is the longest branch, we're going to have to look at all n nodes regardless of which algorithm we pick. So we could do a BFS here or DFS. But because we did a BFS in the last video, just to change things up, I'm going to do a depth first search here. So the way a depth first search is normally done is with recursion. But by doing that recursion, we're putting calls on the call stack. So essentially, it's just done with a stack. So I can initialize a stack, and then I can add the node, uh, the, the root node. So I can say stack dot append the root node and the current depth. And that would be one, because in the case that we don't have a root, we can just return zero. And then I can set a max depth because that's what we care about. And that's actually what that one symbolizes. So I'll set that to zero. And then I can say, well, the stack is not empty. Um, I can pop out the root and the current depth. And I can compare that to the maximum depth. And if it's bigger than the maximum depth, I'm going to reset that to depth. Otherwise, I'm going to keep maximum depth the same. So after doing that, I'm just going to check and see if we have a left and right child. If we have a left child, we're just going to append uh, the left child and depth plus one to the stack. And if we have a right child, we're just going to do the same. Root dot right and depth plus one. Cool. So uh, now we can just return the max depth and this should be good to go. Cool, and that looks good. Great, and it works. So I hope that made sense, guys. A depth first search is a really important algorithm if you want to go down one path at a time. So what we're doing is going down each branch at a time and then comparing that to the next branch over. So if you have any questions about depth first search, let me know in the comments. I hope this was helpful. If you want to see more from me, uh, subscribe or become a patron on my Patreon. Thanks so much, guys. Have a good one. Peace.